Here at Click, we've been following this guy around for a few years now, the incredibly animal-like Mini Cheetah. The robot that can go over different types of terrain, you can even kick it and it'll stay upright, in theory. It's amazing. <laughs> well, that was slightly awkward, but I'm assured it being a robot, it doesn't feel pain. Moving on, I've been told though that the mini cheetah has gotten cleverer. The boffins here call it the learn by experience model, machine learning that allows the cheetah to negotiate objects through trial and error. And I'm told it's learned how to play football. Now, I'm no Ronaldo, but I thought I'd put it through its paces. But first, I piece the camera. Okay, we're gonna play some football. Oh, I can't do any skills. Oh. <laughs> this might take a long time. Let's play some football. <laughs> oh, I thought he was running after us. With that out of the way, it was time to test it out. <laughs> oh, good skills! Its close ball control was pretty good, though sometimes it seemed to be concentrating so hard on the football, it forgot how to actually walk. And trying to tackle it was pretty hard too. <laughs> it's quite scary! <laughs> the researchers also decided to take it to places it had never been before to see how it would do. Okay. Oh, can it do this? I'm not actually sure, uh, but we can give it a try. Let's see if I can do it. Oh, wow. Oh, kind of. Oh, look at it right itself. Wow. Yeah, so the thing is, it can't, <laughs> it can't actually see the stairs. This is right. a blind controller. Um, so it doesn't know that the stairs coming. It has to be totally reactive. So it hasn't learned how to do this. It's just reacting to falling, basically, down yeah, the stairs. Yeah, I took a little bit of a risk. <laughs> it is really impressive, but what are the real-world applications for this? Daniela Russ is the director of Seasail. The robot can carry things for us and can traverse uh, dangerous uh, territory and present us with information that, are, that is really too difficult for us to reach ourselves. The robot could also carry things for us as we walk up a mountain path. Within a home, we have a lot of wheel-based robots, but those robots are not going to go up the stairs, but the mini cheetah will. So if you want your robot to deliver cookies um, uh, before bedtime, and that robot has to go from the kitchen to the bedroom up the stairs, then, then you really want the cheetah. With the World Cup in full swing, both the Cheetah and I show you how hard it is to actually play football well. It's still learning and getting better, unlike me. But training to do this shows its versatility. Perhaps they could even be robot pets of the future. <laughs>